Hello, this video is a continuation of the previous video. Please make sure you watch the previous video so you can better understand the concepts of this video. In this video, basically, if you notice, compared to the previous video, I have added two more devices, the smoke detector and a siren. So what I want is whenever the smoke level inside my smart home or my smart office goes above a certain level, the siren turn on. So first of all, I have connected my smoke detector with the wireless router and I have registered it with the IoT server. So you can see over here on the smoke detector, If you see its wireless settings, I have connected it with the wireless router by providing the SSID and the passphrase. And I have connected it with the IoT server. I selected remote server, gave the server address, username and password. Now if I come to my tablet, web browser, give the URL of IoT server. Username, demo, password, demo, sign in. You can see in the last video only lamp and fan were connected. Now smoke detector and a siren is also connected. The siren right now is off. I want when the smoke level is above a certain level, the siren should turn on. Okay, now how I will set the smoke level in the video or in the simulation environment? For that, I need to come in the environment. This environment setup allow me to set up the environment variables like temperature, heat, smoke, motion, carbon dioxide level and different levels. For now, I'm interested in setting up the environment for the smoke. So right now you can see the smoke graph is all straight, which means for the entire duration of the simulation, the smoke level is zero and we want to change it. We want that during the different times of the day, the smoke level changes to different values. So if you look at this graph on the X axis, I've got the time on the Y axis is the value. So I want at around 12 a.m. the value of smoke level changes. So what I have done is I have double click where I want to add a keyframe because when I add a keyframe, then I can define the value of smoke over there. Let me add another keyframe, another keyframe. So wherever you want, you can add a keyframe by just making a double click. If you want, you can drag and drop it. It looks like the initial value over here is already 15. Okay. And if you want, you can drag and drop as well, which will allow you to set different values. Another way to add a keyframe is click on the advanced tab. And say for an example, I want to add a keyframe at 10 a.m say add keyframe. Now you come back to your keyframe graph. You will notice if I uncheck and check it again that at 10 a.m. a keyframe is added. So you can define a value at that time. Okay, so basically at around 12 a.m. the smoke level will be 15. At around 1 a.m. it will be 20. Around 10 a.m. it will be 2. Now, how we control the time in the simulation? It's very easy. One minute of your simulation time is equal to 30 minutes of real time. Which means within two minutes of the simulation, it will basically complete the one hour of a real time. And in short, within 48 minutes, the complete 24 hour cycle will complete. Okay. So what I have done is I have set up the environment variable for the smoke and I have set keyframes and I have set the value of smoke. 
Now at different hours, the value of smoke will change. Now I want to reset the time of my simulation because I want to see the effect of it. So right now you can see my siren is off. Okay. So if I set up a timer, starting with 00, zero let's see will it take effect. It's not taking any effect. The reason is I haven't set up any conditions. I haven't defined anywhere if the smoke level goes above a certain level, the siren should turn on. So I need to set up the conditions. Where I set them up? In the IoT server. So in the IoT server, come to this tab which is called conditions. Add a rule. Give it a name. You can give it any name. I'm naming it as siren on. If smoke detector level is greater than 10, then siren should be turned on. And you can see a rule has been added. Now, when I come over here, I reset the timer and you can see as soon as it hit to 12 a.m. because the smoke level is above a certain level my siren turned on and even if you come over here in your IOT server you can see the level of smoke and your siren is on. Okay, so in this video, basically, we have learned how we can set the environment variable and how we can set the conditions on the IoT server, which allow me to turn on my siren when a smoke level is above a certain level. I hope this will help you. Thank you very much.